À l'aube des années 80, alors qu'une nouvelle avant-garde artistique envahit les murs et les rues de New York, au milieu d'une ville en pleine faillite économique, un jeune adolescent de 15 ans va changer le cours de l'histoire de l'art. Lui, l'enfant né d'un père haïtien, d'une mère portoricaine, va apporter un nouveau souffle, devenant le premier grand peintre noir à ouvrir l'art moderne au reste du monde. C'est ici, à New York, que commence la légende de Jean-Michel Basquiat. Comme une fulgurance, une comète, Basquiat accomplit son œuvre en moins de sept ans. Rimbaud des temps modernes, son œuvre gardera l'empreinte de la jeunesse. C'était il y a un siècle, tout juste un peu plus de 20 ans. 1988, dans le chaos de Downtown, à peine âgé de 27 ans, Jean-Michel Basquiat livre un ultime combat. C'est là, sur Regent Street, dans la solitude de l'atelier, qu'il couche et recouvre les toiles de mots et de textes qui racontent sa vie. C'est une œuvre testament, mais Jean-Michel Basquiat ne le saura jamais. He did some paintings very close to his death called Erica 1, Erica 1 or Erica 2 and it turns out that it was a um, piece of classical music. He also wrote Man dies, man dies, man dies. These were very shortly before he died. but it, it was really a death, a death march. It's almost like he knew he was going to die. I mean, the one thing that I witnessed was what was going on, you know, right before his last show at Vrej um, where he just, you know, he didn't, he didn't want to do the show. He was, he was afraid, he didn't, he was blocked. La chose la plus terrible, c'est qu'il était seul. Il était seul et c'était très triste. And it seemed like even painting wasn't doing for him or giving him the thing that he got from it before. Il y avait un autoportrait qui était terrible. Et là, je, quand j'ai vu ce portrait, j'ai dit c'est la mort. La mort est en lui. C'était euh, la toile où euh, il y avait un mort qui montait sur un espèce de cheval, un squelette. Euh... Comme ça, je crois. It's the most sad painting because um, he did it shortly before his death. But that's my favorite. I think it's the most beautiful. Then, you know, he produced a show that was, in a way, kind of a, a triumph, but it, he did it in, like, three days. Jean-Michel Basquiat right here in Washington Square Park. It was the summer of 1976. We were both 15 years old. We were some of the kids of color in this area. And I had an assignment to make a small Super 8 film. So I, um, I called up Jean and I said, hey, meet me in the East Village at Astor Place and we'll get together and I'll just film you walking around the streets of Soho writing some graffiti and he said okay fine. 
At some point, I started to notice some different graffiti that was up there, small poetic statements that were mysterious to me. So he signed his name Samo, and then he put a little C behind it for copyright. He called Samo, S-A-M-O, for Samo Ship. The murs were the support ideal for him. Even 78, 79, he was already famous for doing the Samo graffiti pieces, but nobody knew who he was.